Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to start a makeup artist series. I've been a bridal makeup artist for nine years now. I know a lot about bridal makeup since that's my main gig, but also I've come to know a lot of things about building a makeup artistry kit since I was a self-taught makeup artist. Since one of my favorite videos to watch are makeup artist videos about their makeup artistry kit and how they do makeup on their clients because you're always learning from other artists, then I decided that I wanted to create this series. This is exciting for me because it's something that I really know and that I get to show you guys from my own experience as a makeup artist. So if you're a makeup artist, if you, if you have been thinking about starting your makeup artistry career, then this channel is gonna be for you. I also do project planning content. This is the community that I'm so glad that I have in which I can talk about makeup because I don't know that many makeup lovers or makeup artists in real life. When I see these makeup artistry videos, I often see that something that we have in common as artists is that the things that we have in our makeup artistry kit are not necessarily the latest releases. And I wanted to start this series showing you, I think nine or 10 eyeshadow palettes that are my go-to for my makeup artistry kit. Keep in mind that I don't do editorial, I do mostly bridal and social type of makeup. So I'm gonna show you the 10 palettes that I've used the most and I'm gonna even give you a top three that are the ones that I basically reach for for almost every single client. So if you wanna see this type of content on my channel, give this video a thumbs up. And also if you have a question as a new makeup artist, as an upcoming makeup artist, or as a client, leave the question below and I will happily answer for you. All my social media will be linked below. You will see my personal social media, which is my image consulting social media, and then also my makeup artistry social media, which is mainly before and afters of my clients. So without further ado, let me show you the palettes that I use the most on my bridal makeup artistry kit. Every single palette that you will see here is not a new release and you will see that, that my palettes look used and abused but they have been sanitized always. And every time before a job, I will clean them up thoroughly. That's why you can see that my Anastasia eyeshadows, which are my favorite for my clients, outside of the packaging looks so awful because I actually clean them with alcohol on the outside as well. So the first four palettes that I'm gonna show you are palettes that I don't use as often right now, but definitely are ones that I tend to pack on my makeup artistry kit. The first one and the oldest is the Modern Renaissance. And you can see that all of my packagings, the velvet ones are like this because I use alcohol and rub them and they lose their color. So they don't look pretty on the outside and they're definitely not pretty on the inside but you can see right here how this palette has been used and abused and also that I always if I can and if I'm gonna keep a palette in my makeup artistry kit I will repress new shades from singles that I have so that the palette is full and complete. So here I had pan in every single shade. I switched up a few colors like Vermeer, Burnt Orange, Cypress Umber, and these ones I switched them up. Cypress Umber I actually finished, so I switched it up for ColourPop eyeshadow, then Burnt Orange I finished it, and then I switched it up for a corally orgasm color type of eyeshadow and the Vermeer I switched it up for another Anastasia eyeshadow and you can see that this color is basically a color that I can use on every single one of my clients if I want to deepen up something or if I want to create a chocolate smoky eye. For me palettes need to be functional and they also need to have eyeshadows that can be my go-to. So the first one is the Modern Renaissance and you can see how beat up this one is. Okay you guys, so I'm hoping that the lighting on this video is not all over the place. I'm using the manual setting and so bear with me because I'm trying to use my microphone and see if I can improve the sound of my videos. Something is not quite all right is because I'm not an expert on lighting and how to set up everything to film a video. Even though I've been doing YouTube videos for God knows how long. Another palette that I've used a ton on my makeup artistry kit and I've used it more lately. It's the Sultry palette by Anastasia. This one is a great palette. I wish it was permanent. One of the most 
cool tone eyeshadow palettes that I take with me on my kit. So on this one, I have only one pan, but I used to have this another one and I gave it to my sister-in-law and I had already two pans in that one. You can see that even though I only have one pan, which is in the shade Pearl, I have dips in almost every single shade except for these two. And Noir is one of my favorite blacks. It's just that if I have one that is more used in another palette, like the Soft Glam, I will tend to go for the one that it's already been used and abused and finish that first before messing another eyeshadow in a palette. This one is a go-to for when I see a client that will look better with cool tone makeup or when they want something that is not necessarily my go-to makeup style. I tend to go for peach makeup or pink makeup, even if it's bridal. I don't do the typical wide cut crease and then black grayish uh, smoky eye. I do that sometimes, but rarely. Uh, people that look for my makeup style, they know that I do a colorful bride without bright colors. That means I use pinks, I use rose golds, and I use peaches. Most people that I do makeup on are Latino and we have dark eyes, brown eyes. I use colors that will make their eyes pop and look more yellow and lighter. This little one, I carry it with me always just in case and sometimes I even put it on my assistant's little backstage makeup bag because sometimes she, ha she has to do a few of my clients since I have big bridal parties like 18 people, 16 people, 15 people, she is gonna help me. Um, I always put palettes that suit my style of makeup. So this is the Huda Beauty Nude Medium Palette and I've used this on myself a ton, but I also take it with me as a backup palette for my makeup artistry kit. And this one, you can see that it has three pans. I probably will heat pan in every single shade and this is one of those eyeshadow palettes that I know I will finish. This is so beautiful and this is my style of bride. So sometimes I regret that I didn't pick up all three shades of these type of palettes because they are perfect for my makeup kit. Another one that I've been taking lately, uh, it's been about a year since I started taking it, is the Amarizi by Anastasia. And you can see that Anastasia is definitely a favorite when it comes to me as a makeup artist because on my personal videos, you can see that I love Natasha Denona. But I think that Anastasia shadows are way easier to use as a makeup artist and they're not as delicate in packaging or I don't want them to break um, as my Natasha Denona shadows are basically sacred. And these are my second top formula of eyeshadow and that it's super easy to work with in my opinion. I wanted to use to replace to replace my soft glam which you will see as one of my favorite my favorite eyeshadow palette of all time when it comes to my makeup artistry kit because it has a black it has a brown those for me are two shades deep brown and black are main shades that i have to use and i use on almost every single person what's interesting about this one is that it comes with a bright color this one i've never used but then it comes with purple which is another go-to of mine and then it has these little shimmery colors that are beautiful. I will never use glitter. And you will see when I do my Makeup Artistry Kit video, glitter, it's not a go-to. I sometimes take it with me if a client requests for glitter. 99% of the time, I can count with my own hands the amount of time that I use glitter that it's not a Stila Glitter and Glow. This palette has a few pops of color, but it comes with transitions and the rest of the colors are mostly neutrals or pink, purples, and peaches. These are palettes that are mostly the ones that I use for my brides specifically. So the first one that I have here, and I think the newest palette from them all, and this is not a new palette, is the Naughty Palette by Huda Beauty. This is just perfection, and the reason why I purchased it is because of the Huda New Nudes, which is one of my go-tos for bridal. This one has two pants, and I know it will have way more, but these colors are beautiful for... I use this mostly on bridesmaids, but I can use this one on brides as well. This shade I can use on a bride. Like every single little brown color that it has, they're not that brown, they're mostly mauve or they have a hint of pink. And then these gold tones, these ones, but it's perfect as a go-to palette for bridesmaids. 
And even for a mother of the bride, even though I tend to go for the sultry palette for the mother of the bride or one that I didn't put now on this video because I don't use it quite as often anymore is the Tarte in Bloom palette. One of my most favorite eyeshadow palettes for bridal is the Huda Beauty New Nude. This one has nine pans and it used to have 10 pans because of the concealed shade. I was using it a ton as a base. I think now it's getting older so I don't use it as often but the shimmers on this palette the ones that have little pieces of pearl that are so beautiful these ones like most of them are just go-to's of mine and then I use this glitter quite a few times but just as a topper and I don't like glitter I just wanted to use it more but these three shades right here are just main shades that I use for clients, for brides, and these two more than anything. Every single bride that I've done a pink look or a goldy with pinky tones type of look, they've loved it. The mattes here complement the shimmers perfectly. This is one of the most beautiful bridal palettes that I've ever used. And I know that this is the type of palette that if I finish it, I will repurchase. This top four palettes that I'm gonna show you, uh, starting with this one. These are palettes that I would actually repurchase. Again, if I finish them, that's how much I love them and that's how much I know them. They are staples on my kit. This one, let's get it out of the way. This is the Orgy palette by Jeffree Star. I hate the packaging, but I don't plan on departing it because I love the mirror on this one. Right now, quite messy, but I, like I said, I always clean up right before another job. I sanitize everything as soon as I get home, but I clean everything thoroughly right before uh, another job because I like to show my mirrors and whatnot and I like for everything to look as spotless as it can look. So this one doesn't have that many pans. I think it has one pan, but it's one that I take with me on every job because it has all of the transition shades that you can imagine. It has a black that it's my backup black because I still prefer noir from the Anastasia palette. It comes with all of these brow bone shades or you can do a cut crease and set it with these light colors right here and they have different undertones, different undertones for every single tone of nude that you can imagine. To be honest you guys, since people that I do makeup on, they speak Spanish and they don't necessarily understand the names of the palettes. I haven't found the need to cover the names. It's my go-to matte palette in my makeup artistry kit and I use it when I can't find any transitions that I want for a look or if I want to do an all matte look that is super glam, this is my go-to and then I can put a little bit of shimmer or use a topper to finish the look. Beautiful, the formula is amazing. It's powdery, but I don't mind that. And I'm a makeup artist that does face first and then eyes. If you have the right technique, you will able to get to that level in which you do the base first and then even if you have fallout, you know how to remove it and you know how to set your base perfectly in order for your eyeshadow not to ruin your base. I would highly recommend this palette. I don't necessarily support Jeffree Star, but this one is great for my bridal makeup artistry kit. And then I have my two main palettes and I'm thinking about getting them uh, back new because they have a lot of eyeshadows that are missing that I've repressed other things that are not necessarily my favorite. These I use both a ton, but my favorite one is the last one that I'm gonna show you. The first one is the Norbina palette and you can see how this one, it doesn't even look purple anymore because it's been used and abused. Dreamer had pan and I repressed it. Then I have pan in base in summer, which is one of my favorite golds of all time. The shade, the undertone is perfect. I finished Wild Child and Rose Gold, so I repressed two shades. One is a Tarte Chroma Paint Pigment and then the other one is the Rose Pigment by MAC. So these are shades that I use for brides and I decided to repress them because I don't use them as often since they're in singles, but I know I will finish them if I keep repressing them on my palette. And they work perfectly repressed. I never thought that a pigment, you could repress it that way into an empty pan with alcohol and it would work. And if I need to make them pop, I will use a primer and eye primer or I will just spray 
fix blush on them. That's a way for me to keep finishing the makeup that I have instead of adding new things. These two are gone and then Dazzling is also gone, which was a go-to for my bridesmaids and my brides. And then you can see that I have pen in every single one of the mattes except for Soul, which is the only one that actually broke because I was trying to depot it and remove it from the palette, but I never used that shade. So that tells you a lot. I don't want to repurchase it yet because there's this need in me to finish the palette even though I'm, I know I won't be able to finish it completely before I repurchase it. I still have a lot of clients bases left uh, with this same palette and I don't want to waste since everything that you add to your makeup artistry kit is an investment. And then the palette that I use the most on brides is the soft glam palette and this one doesn't look as awful on the outside but it still looks looks dirty and you can see that even the corner is broken they all look used and abused this one I switched up two shades from the palette tempera which is this one that is also in the modern renaissance I never used that so I switched it up for a color that was on the prism palette which is a brown that I can use on a lot of clients. Then I also finished Rose Pink and I wish they would sell that as a single because that's the shade that I love the most for brides. And I repressed a ColourPop eyeshadow that I thought could replace it. And it's pretty, but it's definitely not the bridal shade that I would use since it's a pink that has a switch to gold type of duochrome. I also finished Noir and repressed uh, black that I had in a different palette so this one I used it now only on a pinch because it's not the blackest black and, and it's not my most favorite formula and then I also removed mulberry and switched it up for another shade that has shimmer in it from I think it was again the prism palette and these are colors that I know are go to for bridal I love 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 the mattes right here the only eyeshadow here that is not my favorite is Dusty Rose and that's just one of those eyeshadows that a traditional makeup artist would use on Mother of the Brides at tons. At some point I know I will get more use out of this one because I tend to go for similar looks depending on the style that I'm currently having. That one hasn't been my style yet but this palette I know that if I would repurchase it the first shade like always to go would be rose pink. I love that shade. I wish I could show it to you. This palette is definitely my favorite bridal. If you're looking to do brides and you know that your clients or the type of clients that you have love warm tones then this one is a go-to of mine and then you can also find cool tones in it. It also it has great golds. I'm not the type of person that will do a gold makeup look on everyone. That's it you guys. I hope I wasn't too repetitive because I'm basically talking about things that are part of my own artistry and that are part of my own makeup style and those are things why my clients and my prospects look for me and hire me when they see my Instagram. Every single makeup artist that you know is actually different and they have their own style. So you as a client have to match your style with your makeup artist style because if you, for example, want to hire someone that does more natural type of makeup like I do for the place where I work, like this city, People tend to go for crazy colorful glam and that's not my style. The clients that come to me, they come to me because they have gone to other makeup artists here that someone recommended to them. The style of makeup was too harsh, too clowny or too colorful. So the style that they had didn't match the makeup artists that people were recommending to them. So you have to match your style as a client with the style of the makeup artist because there's room for everyone. You have to figure out your style and stay true to it because clients will come for what you do even if it's not the same as everyone is doing, even if it's not the trending thing. Most people do not hire makeup artists to do a trend. They hire a makeup artist because they want to look more beautiful and they don't know how to do their makeup. So that's it for this first 
first video on the makeup artist series. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what palettes do you have on your makeup artist kit if you're a makeup artist. And then also, if you're a client, let me know which type of looks you like to get done when you get your makeup done. That way I can get to know you guys more as clients and as makeup artists and I can create looks accordingly. So that's it you guys. I love you and I guess I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.